Good evening, I'm Calvin Snead. And I'm Latricia Thomas. Six people are dead tonight after a fire breaks out in their home overnight. Well, this picture you're about to see is from the mother's Facebook page. Her husband, three children, and another young family member, all victims of that fire. It happened in Tryon, Georgia, about 45 minutes south of Chattanooga. News Channel Line's Stephanie Sanostasi begins our team coverage. She joins us now live to tell us how this fire began. Stephanie. Latricia and Calvin, two adults and four little girls were sleeping back here inside this home last night. As they were sleeping, a wood heater caught fire. By the time fire crews got here, it was too late. Toys lay in the front yard where the Jones girls used to play. Yeah, I had to come save her myself. Tony Cochran knew the family well. She woke up this morning and couldn't believe the news. I'm shocked. I'm really shocked. Chattooga County Sheriff Mark Schrader says his department came out here late last night. He says investigators soon discovered what they think caused the fire. We're, we're leaning towards a uh, recent placement of a wood heater inside the home. According to the state fire marshal's office, the new heater was just put in yesterday and installed too close to a wall of wood paneling. The sheriff's office says there were six people inside the mobile home at the time, four children and two adults. I, I can't imagine. I can't imagine what the little kids went through. I can't. Schrader says the children, all little girls, two five-year-olds, a three-year-old, and a three-month-old. A mom, dad, and three daughters. The other girl was their cousin who was spending the night. Children are uh, always have a soft spot in my heart. I have two uh, of similar age to some that lost their life last night, so uh, uh, it does hit home. Sheriff Schrader says once his deputies got on scene, they made another discovery. Uh, one of my jail officers uh, is related to one of the deceased. Six lives cut short and a community left in both shock and disbelief. I couldn't imagine losing my kids. <laughs> Sheriff Schrader said he's not sure if the home here did have working smoke detectors or not, but he is encouraging everyone to make sure theirs are working properly. For now, reporting live in Tryon, Stephanie Sanastasi, News Channel 9. Stephanie, thank you. Family friends have started a GoFundMe page for the family of the victims. They say the money will go towards memorial costs of the six victims. So far, they've raised about $200 of their $50,000 goal. We have information on how you can help. Post it on our website, newschannel9.com. Family members say they are heartbroken after learning about this devastating fire. News Channel Line's James Torres continues our team coverage. He joins us now live with that part of the this tragic story. James. Latricia well, Calvin, as you can imagine, family members are trying to make sense of this tragedy as they are still feeling heartbroken. Take a look behind me. This is a scene where six people were killed as a result of the fire. Now, families asking for privacy as they grieve. And a family spokesman, the great aunt of the family actually involved in the fire, did speak to us today because she says she knows this family will need all the help they can get. It's just heartbreaking. Very heartbroken. And I know DJ, and if she could have got them kids out, she would have got them kids out, and Brad too. You know, they wouldn't have, they would not have got out of that house without them kids. Conversation, we saw a neighbor left six red balloons here on the mailbox of the home in front of where all these victims did pass away from this fire. Now coming up at six o'clock, we'll hear more from them and from firefighters that were on the scene. For now, live in Chattooga County, James Torres, News Channel 9. Thanks, James. Pope says investigators told her the family did appear as though they were trying to escape that fire. She says they plan to bury all of the family members 